Hello friends, welcome back. In this Luminar Neo tip video, I'm gonna give you a fun little tip that works for white balance when you can't seem to get it right. I've got a different way to do it that I think you're really gonna love. I've got this photo which was shot here in Austin and I shot it through glass that had a bit of a, a film on it to protect from the sun. And as you can see, for me at least, to my eyes, the white balance is off a little bit. It's too warm, which is kind of yellow, and it's also kind of green, and I don't really like that. So I've already made some adjustments here in Develop Raw. As you can see, those are all light adjustments. If you look at the before and the after, right, obviously brighten the photo, which was lifting the exposure, add a little smart contrast, pull down the highlights, lift the shadows. I haven't done anything to white balance. Let me show you what I'm talking about. As I said, it's kind of a, a little too warm, a little too green. Well, that sounds really easy with temperature and tint, because if it's too warm, you cool it off, and if it's too green, you increase the tint towards the magenta, right? So I'm gonna start with the tint component. Again, kind of greenish yellow, which is not really a look that I like, and so what I wanna do is drag this tint to the right. The thing is, is I don't go very far, and I feel like it's not really helping very much, so I'm gonna double click and reset that, so the other idea is, of course, to cool it off a little bit, which is going to take the temperature left. And that helps a little bit more in this case. I think that looks a little bit better. And then if I add back the tint, you know, I get a decent looking overall look, but I need to pull that tint down because that road's looking a little bit too kind of magenta. So I'm kind of back to where I was on the tent. So what I'm going to do is reset both of those and show you this little trick that I like to do. And it's not in Develop Raw. I'm going to close that, and again, we have the same basic photo, before and after. I've done all the light adjustments in Develop Raw, and the tool I like to use for this little trick is Color Harmony. There's a section in Color Harmony, which I love, and it's my favorite color tool in Luminar, and it's called Color Balance. The beautiful thing here is that, as you can see in this drop-down menu, you can adjust these colors in shadows, midtones, or highlights, and that's one of the key differences between doing it this way versus doing it in Develop Raw, because in Develop Raw, it's a global adjustment. There's no masking, it's not separated by tones. If you change the temperature and make it cooler, everything gets cooler. If you change the tint and make it more towards the magenta, everything picks up that. So you don't have as much control. Well, in looking at this photo, a lot of the areas that feel a little bit green to me that are too warm, kind of too yellow and too green are more in the highlights. Well, hey, I just go into highlights and I've got the ability to get away from the warm, right? So if I go toward the right with the cyan red, well, it's gonna make it more warm because it's more red. So instead, I'm gonna go left and go toward cyan. And that helps a little bit because it kind of gets me a little bit away from that warmth, but you can also get away from the green and that's with the magenta sliders. So I'm gonna drag that a little bit to the left as well. And that's helping a little bit. But of course I said it's also too yellow and that's this slider, this last one, yellow blue, where I'm gonna go ahead and drag it toward the blue. And in doing so, you can see, I start to get what I consider a much better overall look to this photo's white balance. The core temperature and tint across the image looks great, and all I've adjusted are the highlights. That gives me a lot of control. Now, the second thing you can do, and that I often find myself doing, is perhaps similar but smaller moves in the midtones. In this case, I might just go one or two in the uh, yellow-blue towards the blue in the midtones, and in the shadows, I think I'll do the same. Now in the shadows, when you drag toward the blue, I'm gonna go extreme so you can see this better, it creates a lot of contrast because blue is a darker color and I'm adding it to the shadows, so I'm essentially making the shadows darker. So I'm gonna reset that to zero and come back and add this to like a two, three, five, seven, something like that. I'm just adding a little bit more contrast, but also creating a little bit of blue in the shadows. And that coupled with a very minor adjustment to the blue in the midtones, and of course, the big adjustment being the ones I made in the highlights, has given me, I think, a much better overall white balance kind of feel to this image. There it is before, too yellow, too warm, too kind of green, and now a lot better overall look. And now that I've seen it, I'm gonna pull that magenta back just a tiny bit on those uh, highlights, and I think I've got a fantastic overall white balance before and after. That's how I like to do it in Color Harmony, specifically with color balance, and again, it's because I can isolate by highlights, midtones, or shadows. It gives me more fine-tuned control over these color adjustments to the light, which helps me get a really beautiful, I think, appropriate and accurate overall white balance. Thanks for watching. Hope this has helped. Don't forget to check out my free ebook about Luminar Neo. It's at the link below. See you next time, my friends. You guys take care. Until then, adios.